Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have five keto spinach recipes for you. They're all really easy and I've written a full blog post with all of the recipes, everything you need to know and I'll leave that down below for you. So give it a click, pen it, bookmark it, save it so when you feel like spinach inspirations you can check it out. And if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more yummy inspirations just like this. I share loads of low carb keto inspiration, usually at least three videos a week, sometimes some bonus ones too. So subscribe to join the yummy inspirations community and remember to leave a like and a comment to let me know what is your favorite way to enjoy spinach when you're following the keto diet. I look forward to reading your comments. So let's get on with keto spinach recipe number one. I'm gonna have some spinach for breakfast this morning so I've got some eggs frying up and I'll show you what I'll do in a sec. Eggs are done, I love the little crispy edges and now I'm gonna see to my spinach. Not sure if you can even hear me but I've added some butter into the frying pan, spinach and I'm gonna mix it around and let it wilt away. And look at it, it takes no time at all. Just add a bit of butter in the frying pan, let it wilt, and it's gonna be a lovely side to my fried eggs. And look at that yummy breakfast. I love having a side of spinach with my fried eggs in the morning because it kind of starts you off in a good veggie in intake for the day. So we've just got crispy fried eggs, spinach cooked in loads of butter, and that is this easy keto spinach recipe idea for you. This keto spinach recipe is going to be a smoothie. I've got my blender here. I've popped in a big generous handful of spinach and we're going to add some more ingredients to create a lovely keto smoothie. I've added a handful of raspberries, a generous dollop of mascarpone, teeny sprinkling of stevia and some chia seeds. And now we're just going to top it up with some milk. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, we're going to pop it onto blend now. And it's done. I'm loving my Nutribullet. Just got one. Got it last week and I've been making all kinds of smoothies. And today is all about spinach. So I'm going to pour this out into a glass. And it looks so good. It tastes so good. If you're new to green smoothies, adding a bit of spinach to your favorite smoothie is a great way to start. It does look very green, but oh, tastes amazing and that is this keto spinach recipe idea keep watching for more and now I'm gonna make a spinach pesto these are all the ingredients we're going to use we're going to use a quarter to half a cup of olive oil just depends how oily we want it I've got two cups of spinach in there we're gonna add some parmesan some salt I've got pine nuts you can use walnuts if you want instead I've got half of a, li a lemon, you can use a lime instead, and I've got three little cloves of garlic because I like mine really garlicky, but you could use two if you want instead, but remember check down below, I'll have all the full ingredients and the quantities that you need to make this. So I'm using my Nutribullet blender, you can use a food processor if you want instead. I'm going to get on, add all of the ingredients into my blender and mix up my pesto. That looks pretty cool with all the ingredients in there. Look at that. So I've got my pesto ingredients ready to go. I'm going to pop them onto my Nutribullet and get them blended. And there you go, the perfect pesto. And I've just poured it out into a bowl. How cool does that look? Um, yeah, I love using my Nutribello. It's so much fun. Um, so that is my keto spinach pesto. And you can enjoy it with zucchini noodles or with some chicken or in a pesto pasta salad using um, keto-friendly ingredients. Check down below the blog post. I'll go into the details. But that is this yummy way to enjoy spinach that's keto-friendly. This keto spinach recipe makes a lovely lunch or dinner. I've got some leftover roast chicken I've chopped up into little pieces there. We've got some mascarpone and spinach and we're gonna make a really easy, quick, delicious, yummy keto dish with this. Butter is melted nice and hot in the frying pan. We're gonna get on and cook and heat through our chicken and once it's heated, we'll move on to the next step. Chicken's heated through, beautifully brown. Time to add our spinach. Spinach is on, gonna mix it all through now. Mix it all through. Chicken is brown, spinach is wilting. I've added a huge, big tablespoon of mascarpone and I'm gonna mix it through and get it all creamy. 
And it's done. Look at that creamy chicken spinach deck dish. And there's only three ingredients. How easy. How yum. So that is this keto spinach recipe. And we got one more to go. And for the final easy keto spinach recipe, of course, I'm making a salad. I'm starting with a big bowl of spinach and topping it with goat's cheese and a couple of chopped strawberries to finish off this beautiful salad of simply spinach, feta, I've used goat's cheese, you can use feta, whatever you like, and strawberries, and it's just such a yum salad. You can drizzle over your favorite keto salad dressing, or just some olive oil, avocado oil, anything you like, but that is just one beautiful salad. Look at that. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more yummy inspirations, and leave a comment too. Let me know what's your favorite keto spinach recipe. I look forward to reading your comment, and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post where I go through all of these recipes in more detail. So make sure you click through and check that out. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.